Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today is Friday, September 29th, and I have a couple more Black Madeira figs, ripe Black Madeira figs, and I thought I'd compare it to the I-258, the lone I-258 I have right there on the left. You can see some of the uh, leaves are starting to turn yellow. We had a hot and humid weather for the past couple of days and then we had a front come through yesterday cooled off last night and uh, nice bright blue skies out there even though it's fall now we get these these blue skies without a cloud in them that you can really get burned up out there I think more so than in the summertime but uh, we're getting some cooler nights now and the fig trees are looking stressed and starting to uh, get the hint from the weather and they're going dormant. Leaves are slowly falling off. But I had a couple of black Madeiras. One was outside and I had the one inside. I already picked that. Uh, the one outside is on the plate right there. But you can see there's one just hanging. I had this in the lean-to and I let this go for a while. It's just hanging by the neck. The one outside too was uh, uh, that just fell off, yeah. I wasn't certain. I was looking at it. I said, gee, you know, I might be waiting too long. I might find that on the bottom of the pot tomorrow. But there it is. Uh, purposefully let this really go. Looks like pretty dehydrated. And the one on the tree was, was dehydrated too. Had the net over it. You can see the wrinkly skin. But neither of these had the fig honey. But you could tell that they're just... Uh, going to be jam consistency and concentrated and hopefully there's no critters inside but I was waiting for this I-258 to change color and it really isn't and it is just hanging also so it's a little like pur pale purplish color so I'm going to pick this one you can see there there's no no latex So the cooler temperature, there is cracking. The cooler temperatures are slowing the trees down. So we'll compare those two. An I-258. This is from 2015. And Black Madeira. Oh, and you know what? I have a couple of more Maltese Falcon that are pretty ripe. We'll take a couple of these off too. Looking a little wrinkly. Let's try this one. Oh, so I just noticed on this branch here, I have a couple really starting to swell up. Here's another black Madeira. I'm sparingly trying to, they, they dry out real quick in the lean-to and I don't want to shock it with water and then have them split. I just brought in this here. I, I noticed this swelling uh, in the in the greenhouse the ironic thing is in the greenhouse now that the sun's low I get this neighbor's tree here that's just casting a complete shadow on it uh, at around uh, two o'clock in the afternoon so I'm getting the most sun in the lean-to here but the one the greenhouse gets the first light from the morning sun so I noticed this this is a uh, cold the Don Blanc the UC Davis that's swelling up, and I uh, did notice a couple of a couple of buds there, bro, starting to uh, develop at the base there. But gee, I've had this. That's a 2012 tree. Now I I just put it in this white pot, and basically it just fit right in, just slid right in. I didn't get any expansion room uh, out of it, but I figured that would cool off the roots a little bit, but. Anyways, back to the regularly scheduled program on the Black Madeira. I think people are probably screaming at this point. Let's take a look. So, two Black Madeira, two Maltese Falcon, I-258. All right, I'm going to take the largest Black Madeira, put this on the scale, put it over to grams, 25 grams. Let's take the I-258. 20 grams, so the black Madeira is larger. 
Maltese Falcon, 20 grams. And we have the obligatory comparison to the size of a quarter. All right, let's open up the black Madeira. Oh yeah, nice and leathery. That's gonna be good. Nice and syrupy. Smells good, doesn't smell sour. I don't see anything moving. Let's give it a taste. Oh, wow. That and chewy. That was so jammy and sweet. Raspberry, strawberry. It's just good. I need to get one of those. Um, it's not the refractometers, the, the, the instruments they use for measuring sugar content. That's pretty incredible. Okay, let's take a look at I-258. I don't know how it's going to top, or if it's possible to top the Black Madeira. First off, the color definitely just does not look like a ripe fig. Looks like it's going to be a pale interior. This is, oh, no, it is red. Looks like it has potential, but you can see here, Come on, look at this. Just visually. No, no competition. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. It has a... I don't know if this is ideal ripening conditions right now. And it is a younger tree. Well... What, did I, what does it say, 2015? There's something, there is something more unique about this. More of a tangy sweetness. You can see there, there is, there is syrup in there. There was something, there's something definitely uh, different that if you try to do a blind taste test, I think you would definitely know what the black Madeira was, but that's this particular fig in this particular season. Uh, definitely, I don't know if that's if they get as dark as Black Madeira. I forget what I've seen for images for uh, I two fifty eight. But definitely, this is this is a little bit something extra to this I two fifty eight. I you know I'm not sure I understand what people, what people say when they say that uh, some fig ha has uh, some acidic nature to it. But you can see the interior too just doesn't seem to be as developed. It could, you know, I, I'm, my gut instinct is that this is not a completely properly developed or to its potential with this lighter color. I don't know if, uh, I think they get as dark, I could be mistaken, as Black Madeira's. But definitely something unusual with this. Not unusual in a bad way, just it has a certain different note to it. This is just right out, jammy, hits you right on, berry. It's like if you opened up a uh, jar of uh, Smucker's uh, strawberry preserves or something and just had a spoonful of it. This is as good as store pot. <laughs> no, definitely, this is just, uh, yeah, I don't know how you top this one. I think, is it is it Black Beauty is supposed to be a combination of all these great figs? I've yet to have a fig develop on the one that I have. I think it's Black Beauty. i got to go over that. I think that's what they're talking about. It wasn't the two, the I-258. I think it was uh, Maltese. Beauty, is that the name of it? I have to go check. 
This one here, Maltese Beauty CM155 2013. That's a 2013 plant. But it's hard to top the black Madeira uh, if you don't produce a fig. This fig here is, looks like something that happens just before it gets aborted, changes this purplish color, but you know, that's not going to do anything. It's not going to swell up. So I'm pretty sure this is the one that I heard described as uh, a phenomenal fig, but I, n I don't get anything off of it. Not yet. Open feeding time for the bees. I'm afraid to go into the hives now because there's definitely a dearth going on. They just go crazy when you put out the syrup now. And if I crack open a hive, I'm sure I'm going to have the battle going on. I get the lemongrass scent on my hands and the bees are following me all over the place. It's hard to get in and out of the lean to uh, without the bees following me. Alright, so let's take a look at the Maltese Falcon. And they're getting leathery. Oh, that looks pretty good. That's good. A little bit more subtle than the black Madeira. Um, I would say that comes in uh, third. It's not too far behind the I-258. Could be that particular fig. I'll try this one. And that looks good too. Definitely more of a dehydrated state than the first ones that I had of that. Let me go take a look at this last black Madeira. Not as dark. This is a black Madeira, right? I forget which one was inside and which one was outside. Looks a little bit more watery. Give it a try. Mm. Yeah, the skin, the skin is getting sweet too. It's nice and chewy the way I like it. So, here we go with uh, a couple of black Madeira, comparing it to the I-258 and throwing in a couple of Maltese falcons for good measure. So this is New England Gardening. Today is Friday, September 29th. Thanks for watching.